What is up, Rec Tech Nation? We're back with another episode of Barbecue, and it might be a rainy, cold day here at the Worldwide Headquarters, but we're still going to show you how to make another delicious recipe on the best pellet grills on the market. So, I don't know about y'all, but I'm hungry. So, <laughs> Madeline and Shannon, what are you cooking me today? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Barbecue. We're super excited about this recipe, or I am at least. I don't um, eat seafood, but I'm definitely going to try I, it today. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> One of my favorite fish. Salmon? Yeah, I'm a big salmon, but I also love tuna. But I'm telling you what, if you, I don't know if anybody's watching from the Pacific Northwest. If you are out there, if anybody's from Alaska, oh, drop my pencil. Um, that is some of the best salmon. I know whenever I was out in Washington State, I had some fresh Salmon out there, one of my favorite things. And so I'm super excited about cooking this week. Do you cook salmon often? I do. I do. I do all different things. I mean, you know, you can eat it raw. So in sushi and poke and also just do, you know, just put some Ugh. lemon on there. Just do some <laughs> salt and pepper, especially whenever you get that um, fresh salmon. Oh, gosh. I just don't understand eating <laughs> animals raw, but that's okay. What? <laughs> I, was, I like you to steak medium, rare, medium. Like do you not like sushi? No, I'm allergic to seaweed wrap. Oh, yeah. That's so I true. guess I'd have to do a soy, but yeah. it freaked me out. I was too young. I'm not going there anymore. Yeah. Well, but where um, is everyone watching yeah. from? Drop that down in there. Let us know where you're watching from. If you are out in the Pacific Northwest, tell us your, or anybody all over, tell us your favorite salmon recipe because this salmon recipe, I think, is going to be yeah. bomb today. And we're making some uh, Brussels sprouts. You can find this recipe at rectech.com along with our salmon recipe. They're both yeah. right there, available and ready for you to check out. Um, but Our new recipes website. Yes. It, it's it's so nice. It's so nice. So easy. I don't know if anybody's tuned in and uh, heard us talk about it. But if you go on our website, check out our new recipes page. It's super easy to navigate. Yeah. And we're adding new recipes pretty much every week now. You know what else is on the website? What? A sale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you we're going to cook the Brussels sprouts on the RT340 today. And, and I'm doing the salmon on the bullseye today. Which, if you are to purchase one of these awesome pellet grills at rectech.com, you get $50 off. Either an icer or one of those nice matadors. Those are great for going Woo! camping. Ooh, yes, matadors yes. back in stock. I mean, you the can even take that pan and put it in your brand new bullseye. Yes, like you we can. did last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, and remember. then obviously, you know, our 340, it's portable. So nice. PID controller, yep. Wi Fi, turn this thing on on my way home. Yep. and then throw it on. But I've got Great to set for it 4.50 today. Yep. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start these as Brussels sprouts. Sounds good. Cool? Mm. All right. So all I did was chop off the end. Um, fun fact, thanks to Jordan, Brussels sprouts are uh, members of the cabbage family. And typically Ooh. by taste, I would assume that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Jordan doesn't eat his veggies, so. A lot of people don't he like Brussels sprouts. That. Yeah, so I don't understand I it. I did not grow up eating Brussels sprouts. My mom does not like them. So I did not have Brussels sprouts until I was probably like 20. Oh, honestly. you see, I love them. You do like a good like soy sauce like what we're doing today. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So yes. I'm going to just put a little bit, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Kind of mix that up. Get it fully covered. All I did was chop <laughs> off the ends and then have them. The one thing that I will say bothers me about Brussels sprouts is the um the leaves they just come off yeah and, and then they're just like burnt well and, and also it makes your house smell like a, <laughs> a nasty smell yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing about cooking it on the grill you yeah. don't have that nasty <laughs> smell in your house well, yeah. <laughs> forget the oven forget the kitchen yeah. just cook outside but um we got jody's asian, hey, asian persuasion i'm gonna do about three tablespoons of that and because this one's a little more fine i don't really need to go into riot mode a lot will yeah. fall out of this container but again, available at rectech.com. And also, that site that's sauce and spice bundle. Mm -hmm. Y'all, that's mm -hmm. my favorite. You can just yeah. get all the si uh, spices, rubs, sauces, everything you need. Yep. Yeah. Um, but so what I would do is put this on the cooking mat. But I've already got some cooking. They're a little brown. They're exactly where they need to be. And then we're going to make this sauce real quick. And we're going to glaze them up, mm -hmm. take them off the grill, and enjoy. So to start off, it is one tablespoon super easy everything's about a tablespoon of hoisin sauce did y'all know that hoisin is fermented black beans i did not wow we're learning Which stuff sounds today. Gross, but i really like it in anything so yeah <laughs> one tablespoon of sriracha hoisin sauce. what'd you say oh really we like our um, spice total optional 
we're going to do one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, about one tablespoon of minced garlic. Do a little bit more because I love garlic. I love some garlic. I know, and I love this. When you were cutting it this morning, yeah. I was like, oh, it's I mean, so my fingers good. still smell like yeah. garlic. Favorite smell. <laughs> And it's yeah, supposed to be two tablespoons of brown sugar, but again, I'm just going to use Asian persuasion. We always substitute everything we can here with one of our rubs. And one tablespoon of soy sauce. I also love me some soy sauce. I yeah. can drink that. It's my favorite marinade or sauce. Madeline, while you're mixing that up, what temperature are you putting these Brussels sprouts on? 450 degrees, right there on the RT340. And it's on that cooking map. Yes. I love that cooking mat. 1498, y'all. It's so much easier than using a pan and clean up. It's just thrown in the dishwasher. So then I'm just going to go over here. If you want to follow me, sir, <coughs> sharp. And I'm just going to glaze them all up. Any good questions out there, Olivia? Um, no questions yet, guys. Drop your questions for me in yeah, the comment section. Real. We want to know what you want to know. For and then we're going to answer Mix it. it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Ask us questions. Ask we may not flavor. be chefs, but. It's okay that they're charred and brown it's kind of what you want undercooked is definitely not what you want and then these are going to go for about another five to ten minutes kind of just to your liking y'all this is a healthier recipe okay salmon and brussels sprouts mm. don't get much better than that on the diet so if you know someone that's watching their weight or has a new year's yeah. resolution hit that share button or just hit that share button and get the word out there it's because real. I would, I would honestly pair this with some rice too. Put that yeah. rice with some of that Brussels and all that. That'd be it. Mm. Yeah, that would be right. delicious. All right, now let's get going on this salmon. So we were in there this morning. I was in there with Sherp. I'm going to tell you what. That salmon that Greg got us was like, Huge. no joke, this big. I mean, you could already see. Look at that. That is a beautiful piece of salmon. Mm. It is. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we've got that Asian marinade that we're gonna put on. It's gonna be delicious. How long did you have it sitting in the marinade, you said? So as of right now, what what time is it? Anybody know? 12.15-ish. Right now. 12.15, so I've had it in there for about two and a half hours. You can put it in there for about two to four hours. It's just gonna increase. This is the one that I have marinating for a while, so you can see that that soy sauce has kind of changed the color a little bit. Mm. It looks good. It smells good. I know it, it smells might be so freaking me good. out, but yeah. it smells good. It smells so good. All right, so let's make this marinade. Let's just go ahead and put this bad boy on in here. Beautiful. So if you can eat this raw, how long do you cook it for? Is that just like a preference? No. Or? No, I mean, you can, so salmon, any kind of fish is going to cook super, super fast. So unless you're like wanting to do like low and slow or something, but this is like going to take us like two and a half minutes on each side and it's going to be good. Yeah. But Fun fact, if you do like a ceviche and you do all the different citruses, you don't even have to cook it because the citruses, they cook for yourself. That's so interesting. Yeah. I used to work um, at a marina and we did a lot of ceviche over there. And cool. Fresh Madeline, caught fish. Brussels sprout question. Yes. How long did you put them on the 340 before you added the drizzle? All right, so they were on the 340 for about 45 minutes. And then again, I'm going to put them on there, or leave them on there for another five to 10. It's just really to your preference of cool. liking. If you like them a little crunchier, softer, but I'm just following the recipe that we're nice. going from rectech.com. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Shannon, nice. what grill are you going to put that salmon on? I'm going to do it on the bullseye today. The bullseye? Yeah. Perfect. Hot and fast. The 350, is that yeah. what I see? 350. So I'm going to recap just what I did. So I put in about a cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of orange juice, um, two tablespoons of honey, a tablespoon of red pepper flakes, um, a tablespoon of garlic. Well, two tablespoons of garlic. Might be a little bit more just because, you know, garlic never hurt no one. And then I'm gonna put some of this Jody's Asian Persuasion in there as well too. Ooh, I got honey hands. <laughs> We're getting All right. low on gloves. We are getting low on gloves, so I'm gonna keep this one right over here. Should get some soon back in stock. Yeah. For All those right. of y'all that maybe are just tuning in or maybe it's your first time tuning in all together, today we're cooking salmon and Brussels sprouts on mm -hmm. two of our most popular grills, the mm -hmm. Bullseye and the RT340. And fun fact, like they said earlier, if you buy one of these two grills, you will get $50 off either an ice or cooler, which is right behind Shannon, or $50 off the Matador. So yeah. it's like a win-win, guys. You it can't has. go wrong with can't these products. Wrong. I so love both these grills. They're yeah. my favorite. Right. So 
Now you can see, just marinated up that salmon. It's looking delicious, smelling delicious. So what we're gonna do is just let this one sit because of course, we already have another one that's already over here. Ready An to go. Another one. Delish. So let's just, I'm gonna keep this glove since we're running low on gloves over here. So we're just gonna lift this up. Yeah, can you hold that for yeah. me? So for this recipe, we're gonna put it on the grill grates. The sear kit? The, yeah, sorry, the no, sear kit, my B. Could you do it on the uh, grill grates without the sear kit? Maybe? Yeah, this is just gonna add those marks and obviously this, that sear kit, it's gonna be hotter. Um, so it's not gonna take as long either. It's gonna be prettier. Yeah, so we're gonna leave that on for about two and a half minutes on each side, on that side, and then we're gonna flip and we're gonna get that beautiful piece of salmon off and then we gonna eat good today for lunch. What's up, Olivia? Our girl Valerie wants to know What's what colors Valerie? the coolers come in. All right, so they come in red, white, and blue. Um, green and black and black and red and the coolest thing about our icer coolers are none of not a single one looks the same it's like a snowflake yeah, yeah. so this mold you're not gonna see the same exact mold with any one other of a kind group. what'd you say one of a kind yeah one of a kind yeah. absolutely you know that your best friend if you both get a cooler yep you're not gonna have the same one and uh, today you haven't even asked our favorite question Olivia what pellets I are know. we using? I'm saving it for later. <laughs> Come on now, Olivia. We're about I'm to sorry. fight. We're about to kick you All back right, off the let show. Let me hear it. What pellets? Uh, today we're using those Kingsford maple pellets. They are going to add that strong and sweet and fruity flavor to that salmon and also to those Brussels. And it's going to be perfect. It goes Delish. well with any kind of Asian type of d dish, I would say. Mm. Um, yeah. So it's going to be really good. Absolutely. All right. Veggies. Let's Seafood move this. is what I saw it. I'm gonna take out these little pieces. I'm Those not look a fan delicious. Of. They smell great. They look delicious. Now, people may think that just because they're, they're just little the brown, leaves. but yeah. just that they're a little brown. But honestly, I like Brussels whenever they are a little bit more toasted. Yeah. They have more flavor. They Your have more flavor. Your kids gonna enjoy this. Your picky eater at home is gonna enjoy yes. this. Honestly, yeah. they won't even tell. Obviously, it looks like a Brussels sprout anymore. But yeah. it's yeah. gonna taste delicious because of that marinade, or I mean, the glaze we made with soy sauce, and mm -hmm. it's gonna taste like just Chinese food at home. Yeah. A little bit, right? Yeah. You thirsty? Yeah, I'm a little thirsty. A little. Oh, you're not thirsty, Tess? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, gosh, we're calling her out too soon. We've got Tess but back by high demand in the yes. comment section. Y'all love Tess last week. We've got her back. But we did throw a curveball at Tess because she didn't le read our Slack message because oh, we bad. we got our <laughs> recipes for week, which hope y'all are ready. We're going to have uh, some great recipes next week, but... Yeah, we no. threw a curveball literally did me dirty right this week. <laughs> and she was like, I'm changing my drink. So welcome, Tess. Yeah. Happy to have you back well, on. Oh, well, let me get everything real quick. While you're doing that, Sharp, yes. you want to come over here? I'm going to flip this salmon over here. Oh, my. Yum. Look at that. Mm. Looking good. Smelling good. I'm going to eat all that salmon. What else this. you need, Tess? Uh, no, this is good. This is good. So all we're doing this week is we're going to do a really simple Moscow mule. It takes three simple ingredients, one little garnish. Easy to do. Um, so what we're using this week is the Savannah Handmade Vodka. Of course, we have our Dirty Girl mix here. A lot of the times you can use uh, like fresh lime juice and stuff like that. But since we are Spec Tech and we are Dirty Girl people, mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and use this, show you guys how to use it in the uh, Moscow Mule. Nice. Also, we have our ginger beer here. It's probably one of my favorites, actually. Just so that brand or yeah, just no. ginger beer in general? Um, no, just the brand. Actually, I have a hard time drinking ginger beer by itself. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have uh. a love-hate relationship with ginger. <laughs> like, I really like it, but it's kind of awkwardly spicy. So it's, it's I don't know. It's a weird, yeah, I agree. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Like it's it weird. It starts off really good, and then I'm like, ah, I can't get with that. Yeah. Not my thing. Of course, we have like the world's greatest little ice bucket here. This is like my aunt's favorite drink, so every Thanksgiving I have a little bit, and it's yeah. The ginger beer is not bad, but yeah. if you overdo it, yeah, your yeah. drink's done. Well, and they usually come in copper mugs. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we only had two down there, and we have what to the heck? Yeah. So <laughs> instead, <laughs> we'll use an academy. Yeah, yeah we yes. with the academy. And we got academy this weekend. We yeah, do. And if you can tell that out. our set is different today, it's kind yeah. of been throwing me off this whole time because yes. a lot's going on. It's a different but, um, feel for we've sure. We've got the beast over here. Yes. Look at that bad boy. We're gonna roast the whole hog on there. Mm. It's freaking huge. You definitely Very need two animal. hands to lift it. <laughs> yeah. That's available at rectech.com. Yeah. For a simple nine thousand dollars. Yeah. It's a nice looking grill though. Solid. 
So when we started off with our drink, we just did two ounces for vodka. We're going to do one ounce of our Dirty Girl mix here. Yum. Super simple. And there is no shaking or anything crazy for this. Just a little oh simple nice. stir with so your So this straw. is like a novice drink for the people out there that may yeah. not be the best bartenders in the world. Yeah. Or like if you get home and you just really need a quick fix, that this is super easy to do when you get home. Just Come ice. On. How much ginger beer did you put in it? Uh, you just top it off. So once you put in your three ounces, you just top it off with your ginger beer. Uh, I didn't even use a whole can, and there's maybe like half a can for yeah. like both drinks. Gotcha. So it's nothing crazy. Yeah. Garnish it with a little bit yeah. of a lime, and you'll be all set That's to go. Cute. Some people do enjoy uh, squeezing the lime in there. gives it more of that like acidic flavor to it. helps yeah. kind of cut through the ginger. I'm a big fan of it. Everyone does their own. Yeah. So, so last that. week we did a giveaway, so stay tuned to see who won three barbecue oh, shirts. Definitely. But for the people at home wanting to make this drink, they need one ingredient. I think we should give it away. What do oh, you think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, let's give Most away um, our margarita mix, sour mix. Nice. And later in the show, we'll give a couple more things away. So stay tuned, okay? Oh, that nice. looks good. It's I'm smelling. It is it's smelling beautiful. delicious. So. Let's just recap what we did today. We did this um, Asian marinated salmon, super simple, just some soy sauce, orange juice, red pepper flakes, garlic, um, Jody's Asian persuasion, and some honey. We put that on, we cooked on the bullseye today, 350. We put the sear kit down on there, two and a half on each side, and it came out looking and smelling delicious. The only thing left that we need to do, just put a little bit of sesame seeds on there. <laughs> drinking. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, All we're right. going to do family style. Yeah, right. let's do it here. I'll go ahead and just cut a couple pieces. Okay. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. I'll just take the tiniest one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> since you're not a. I'll take. Yeah, this. take that one, the end. And if you don't want. Yeah, no, not yet. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on. There is a lot going <laughs> on. All right. Yeah, this whole set's a little different. So yeah. the vibe's a little different today, guys. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Oh, that is Yum. Awesome. <laughs> Boom. You're good. Eat this. Literally, just eat this. Look. I will. I will. I will. Guys, I know it <laughs> looks good. I'm ready to try this for you All right. guys. Cool. So do we want to go ahead and announce the winner or go ahead and try and announce the winner? We can announce the winner, and then after we try this, we can tell them what our giveaway this week Sweet. is. Sweet. All right. Like that. Do you got the name? Yeah. Or you want to do it? Y'all ready? The winner of three barbecue shirts is Brad Sano. Woo! Woo! Brad yeah, Sano. Brad. Now, Brad, remember, you have to, as soon as you get these, wear it and then tag us in it so we can know where you are in the country repping a barbecue shirt. Go Please. ahead, message us at Rectex profile mm -hmm. and you can claim your prize. You can get three shirts for yourself or, you know, share some love. Yeah. Give it to a friend. For sure. Y'all ready? Right. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. I want this one. I want this one. All right, oh let's try this. I always, this mic always gets in the way. Mmm. <laughs> Is it good, It's okay. <laughs> no, it's good. I just don't eat fish, y'all. I think it tastes good. I love it. I love it, too. It's I'm going to try delicious. Brussels All sprout. of the flavors are great. <laughs> what do I taste, Jordan? I taste a lot, Ooh. and it's really hard to just, you know, get you a, get you save. a Brussels sprout. Thanks for letting us know to tell. Honestly, I taste a lot of that Jody's Asian in there. Mm -hmm. That maple pellet really did its work on there. It kept it really sweet. And the soy sauce and all the other acid in there, it all just kind of goes perfectly all together. Like, yeah. all I need is just yeah. some rice. It's and a then well-rounded dish. Yeah, You're it's good. a very good, well-rounded dish. All right. Mm. What do you think about Brussels sprouts? Good. They're delicious. I love Brussels sprouts. We probably cook these too often at my house, though, honestly. Yeah, same. Like They're good. Always There's find that kick of the sriracha in there. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. It's really good. Yeah. Super simple recipe. I mean, this honestly took simple no healthy. time. Mm -hmm. Simple, healthy. I mean, that. we Find it at regtech.com, Jordan. Y'all, Jordan is back there acting like he is our teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he ain't been listening to the show because uh, we have mentioned regtech.com. <laughs> to get the recipe about five times now. <laughs> Come on now, Jordan. 
Yep, and yes. you can also find it on our Facebook group, Rectech underscore barbecue. That's okay. our official group. Go ahead and join it. We love to see y'all cook and replicate our dishes, and we also like to go on there and see what you guys want us to yeah. cook next. Um, All right. But let's do a giveaway. So we're going to give away this Dirty Girl Sour Mix, and along with that, I'm going to say a T-shirt. Another shirt. Yep. What about a tumbler for their drink mm -hmm. to go in? I like that. All right. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead, share hashtag Rectech Lifestyle and tag a friend that you – would want to see barbecue or enjoys cooking or needs a pellet grill again yeah we're running a great promo right now at rectech.com so go check it out, check it out. um after this we're going to head over to twitter and see our friend jordan after he's been yelling at us all <laughs> show <laughs> go Get over there together. for Love yeah and if you do head over to twitter ask him about his ripped pants yes he ripped yes. his pants this morning <laughs> but Catch us all week. We've got a couple more shows Thursday and Friday. Make sure you tune back in. If you haven't, make sure that you go on and you make sure to hit that button to where you get all of our notifications. Share this because this is a great healthy recipe if you are still on your New Year's resolution. Yeah. Yes. All we right. A lot of holidays coming up, so keep in mind. Yeah. We do offer uh, financing, too, yeah. too, so just give us a call, 706-922-0890. Anybody here at the headquarters is happy to help. Chester or Self might even answer the phone. Woo. So. All right. All right. Well. Well, it's good to eat because I'm, like, I'm starving. I'm yeah. So, another great episode, but we'll see you at, at the Rec Tech. Tech. Woo!